everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, and I'm the owner of Growing Modestly Sticker and Accessory Shop. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a behind the scenes type of video where I package orders. <laughs> where I package orders, I guess. I've never done this before. So, um, yeah, I was late at night during this week and I had to get orders out. Um, and you see me here punching the vellums um, using the Happy Planner Disc Bound Punch. This is not the best punch. Um, it definitely <laughs> struggles sometimes with the vellums because the vellum is so thick. Um, I can only do one at a time. So I have to be careful if I even try to do more than one at a time, which I usually don't. Um, I definitely need to invest in a better, a better punch for disc bound planners. I've been thinking about getting the arc, I think it's arch or arc punch. Um, I think staple sells it. Um, but yeah, and I also need to get a better punch for the A5 through A7 sizes I sell. It's kind of hard to like measure where it's supposed to go. And I'm always, like, scared that it's not going to line up, but it, it does line up. I just have to take my time with it. But, yeah, this is, I'm going through the vellums right now for orders, punching them. And then, um, I usually, I will go through and check to see if everything's there, make sure the quality's good of every sticker or the vellum, etc. But, yeah. So after I um, was done um, punching all the vellums, I was getting ready to um, get the packaging ready for the vellum orders. I do put them in a a white, um, I think it's called like a document folder. I could be wrong. It's one of those folders, um, those envelopes, sorry, document envelope where it has like the little metal part in the back and it, you know, it's a clasp. Um, I use those for the vellum orders or scrapbook orders and I'm just putting the sticker that says growing modestly vellums and scrapbook papers um, and even if you order stickers with the vellums I do put the stickers in this package as well um, which you're gonna see me do and um, I put them in a plastic bag inside where the vellum is as well um, when I used to when I started selling vellums um, it was like hard for me to decide how to like even package it because I didn't know like you know how to keep it secure 
and I think I would take like two pieces of scrapbook paper, like thick scrapbook paper. I'd put the vellum inside one, and then put another vellum, uh, another scrapbook paper on top, and I would tape like the sides. Um, and that did not work out well. Um, you learn as you go. But this has been the most effective, and um, I want to say the most safe way to send vellums out. Um, I don't like putting bubble wrap with these because I don't know. I'm just scared the bubble wrap may like squish them. Um, but my poly ma mailers are waterproof, so, and they're usually, like, a thick material, so it's, there should be no damage to the vellums. And they stay still when, you know, um, they're in those white envelopes. Um, I found that once I started using the white envelopes, they wouldn't, like, move around when being shipped. Um, but now I'm going to be putting my logo stickers and my thank you stickers on the clear bags where I usually just put sticker orders in. Um, no papers go in these bags anymore like they used to. Um, so I usually just put my logo sticker and then a thank you sticker which is in the shape of a daisy. It's part of my branding. You can see there. Um, I think I had a total of seven or maybe eight just sticker orders and then I think like maybe the same amount of vellum orders. But yeah. I need to start doing this ahead of time because this is really time consuming when you're trying to package orders and being that I work a part time job and I babysit and I do this business, it's kind of hard to manage my time I guess. I need to really focus on that. But um, yeah, so I noticed that with this relaunch my orders have been getting out a lot faster than before. Um, I've been really, you know, trying to get orders done when I'm either off or when I get off of work from that day. Um, I think this is, what day did I film this? I don't remember. I think it was one of those days I was babysitting my niece, Aria. Um, but now you see me going through the orders and making sure the quality's good, making sure everything's there. Um, and just um, getting ready to package it up. This one actually you will see later on is a smaller package um my stickers used to be really small like all my stickers so i have these aqua teal blue uh packages that i still keep for like one dollar friday orders that are strictly just one dollar friday orders but this one definitely fit in one of those packages so i wasn't gonna waste a big poly mailer on a little package so yeah you see me doing it now that's the color um of the package. I have like over a thousand of them. I don't think I'm going through them anytime soon. And speaking of packaging, I really want to eventually go to more um, non-wasteful packaging. So like pa uh, plastic, I want to get rid of that eventually. Um, I know it's, it, it does cost a lot to switch to all that, but I really do want to go to that. Um, and a better quality packaging. I like the quality of my packaging now, but like, I, I'm thinking about switching my poly mailers again. I just recently switched them to like a lighter purple. You'll see that right there. It, um, <clears throat> that color goes with my branding more than the dark one anymore. But I want to see if I can get um, poly mailers customized to my branding. So like with my daisies on it and my logo. Um, but we will see. A lot of that stuff costs a lot of money, and I'm a small shop right now still, so, um, yeah. I'm gonna do it with works for right now, but, yeah, I use, the size of these poly mailers are 10 by 13. My sticker sheet sizes are 6.5 by 9, and also I sell vellums that are 8.5 by 11. My scrapbook papers are also 8.5 by 11, so the bigger the mailer, the better it is for me. Um... But you see me packaging the orders, and um, these are just the sticker orders, and then I will move on to the, um, the vellum orders after this.
I didn't realize that my camera, my video, not my camera, my phone wasn't recording in pro video mode. So it was like a different color the last first part of the video, but that's okay. Um, so now I'm going through the vellum orders and I'm going to start packaging them up. Um, first I will put the vellums in the white envelopes, make sure they're securely in there. And then I'm going to package up the stickers in a plastic bag um and i'm going to make sure it fits in there nicely i'm going to just condense it down so it's not so big in there and then i will put it in the white envelope along along with their receipt and then i will you know push the clasp up push it down and then i will put a logo sticker on the clasp um just so it doesn't damage the poly manor mailer in any way because those things can be pretty sharp um but yeah so now I'm going to package all the vellum orders, which take me longer than the sticker orders because I have to get the vellum in the white packaging, and sometimes they can be a pain. Um, especially since, like, the punch areas of, like, the disc bound planners, they get stuck. Um, sometimes I have to be careful with how I'm putting it in. You see me either getting frustrated because it wasn't in right, but I fixed it. And now I'm just going to do the same thing with this one. Um... But yeah, so I'm going to finish these and then we're gonna, I'm going to start putting on um, the handle of pair pack um, labels on my packages as well as my logo stickers. And I like to put little decorative pieces on the back. Um, I don't know if other stop shops do that. I just like doing it to make it more pretty for the customer. <laughs> I don't know. I know I like when I purchase from other shops and if they have stickers on the packaging, I try to save them because if they're cute, um... I like to save them but yeah so I'm gonna finish doing this and then we will start I keep saying we because there's only one who are doing it <laughs> me I'm going to start putting on the labels on the packages
Okay, there was a total, I believe, of 14 or 15 orders. I'm just gonna do some in this last part because it was getting late. Um, so, uh, you see me putting on the logo sticker on the top. Um, I covered, obviously, the person's address as well as my own address on the label. I'll turn around the package and show you the Handle with Care um, sticker I put on there as well as Do Not Bend. Um, I like to put those stickers. <laughs> I don't know if the post office really listens to it. Um, but I don't want them to bend my orders. <laughs> so, I try to put that on there because... I don't know. You just never know what people will do. So, um... At least there was proof that it said do not bend. But um, that's the back and that was the front. I put the little Happy Mail envelope sticker on the back as well as the Fall Groove sticker on the bottom, I think it's the left corner. Um, I try to put a seasonal sticker on every package or just like a generic cute little sticker on the back. They're usually seasonal though. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing now. This, par this part takes um, not that long. It's very fairly quick. Um, but I like to make sure that there are cute little stickers and obviously the handle will care. Um, but yeah. So that's what I'm going to do the rest of this video, I believe. I don't know. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, I'm going to go at the end and say bye, like wave bye or whatever. But yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not like the best video <laughs> for behind the scenes, but... I'm going to try and do this more often where I do behind the scenes. Maybe I could do like a design day one. I definitely want to, you know, record a video of me cutting the stickers. Maybe I'll do that for my October release. Um, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes video. And that's all for me. Take care and bye for now.